All right. Uh, Barbara, do we have uh, any calls here? Yes, Roger, I've been talking to you. Well, I think we must have a technical problem, uh, but let's go on to our first call. Okay, we've got about four calls lined up, so I was just waiting for you to <laughs> kind of cut it short. All right. Okay, our first caller is Todd, and he has a question uh, regarding food poisoning. All right, well, let's talk to Todd. I'll take a seat while you go ahead and put Todd on there. Hi, Todd, this is Roger Reed Miller of Lawyer on the Line. How can I help you? Hi, hi, Teddy. How you doing? Good. How are you? Pretty, pretty good. Hey, hey, great show as always. I, I like the show. Thank you. Thank you very hey, much. I, I, I had a quick workman's comp question. I, I work in a local chain restaurant, and uh, I was on break, and for our breaks, we stay on the clock. And uh, I had had something to eat that the company had provided me, and I got sick, and I missed some time at work. But they wouldn't, uh, I, I tried to file a workman's comp claim, but they said that since they provided the food, that I didn't have a claim. <laughs> uh, that's, that was their defense. Seriously. Yeah, they, they, they said that because they, they had the food there and that I didn't have to eat it. <laughs> well, no, no, you probably didn't have to eat it. Todd, uh, quite frankly, if you suffered an injury that arose out of in the course of employment, uh, and in this case, you suffered an injury on the break, an injury in this case was food poisoning, on break, and uh, the break was on the clock, and in, uh, it's on the premises. I, I, I'll be honest with you, I can't come up with any defense that I would think that would be viable for their uh, denying at least providing you medical care. Now the thing is, if you only miss two or three days in, of work, they're not going under workers' compensation law. You have to be off work for at least a week before you are are eligible for weekly workers' compensation benefits. Yeah, okay. I, I didn't miss a week, but they said that because I undercooked the food when I was cooking it, that I that it, that it was my fault. And they also said because. I'm allergic to peanuts, and because I put peanuts on it, they said that it was also my fault. But the peanuts were labeled as cilantro, and I thought it was cilantro and not peanuts. You made a mistake. You may have been negligent in undercooking. It doesn't matter. The workers' compensation uh, laws in the state of Kansas are no-fault laws, meaning we don't try to assess whether the employer or, in, or employee was at fault in causing the injury accident. Uh, it's a no-fault system. Um, Todd, your medical bills should have been paid for under workers' comp. All right? And, and, and that's, that's what I had told them. I, I, you know, I had dropped the meat, and I kicked it around, and I think there was a rat and lid on it, but I, I, I told them all that, and they said it was still my fault. Doesn't matter. They should pay for your medical bills. All right? That, that's what I thought. Hey, thank you, and I just want to say hi to Nolan. All right. Thank you, Todd. I appreciate right. it. Thank you. All right, let's go right on to our next caller, Barbara. Who do we have?